Welcome to the boob tube. I am back in San Diego and I am in Ocean Beach, San Diego with one of my best friends of all time. Welcome to the boob tube and I am in Ocean Beach, but the locals call it OB. Yep. And guess who owns OB Massage? My bestie. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You know it. Okay. Know. So uh, Trish and I have been friends since 2001 and we actually did a Qigong class together in mm -hmm. New York. That's where we met. We were living on the East Coast. We moved out here yeah. and she's always been one of my biggest supporters and as I mentioned in the other video one of my guinea pigs so um, she loves me I and do. yeah thanks I love you too so one of the things we're going to talk about today is essential oils yay because uh, <laughs> uh, Trish owns you know she does a lot of the essential oils with mm -hmm. her clients uh, and it is in more demand yep. but what people don't realize is that plants have hormones and for about five years ago, because I do Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. and you know I image a lot of the other doctors in town, and what we've noticed with these other, my colleagues who have implemented the estrogen, um, estrogenic essential oils into the acupuncture points, which mm -hmm. is fabulous, we know that. I think yeah, someone was doing it awesome. here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a wonderful treatment, but what was happening is the workers, you know, the yep. doctors and you guys are touching these oils a minute drop for every patient or every client that's going to add up. And what we noticed with the breast is that these plant, these plant estrogens, the phytoestrogens or the essential oils were causing an increase in vascularity, which is causing a hormone imbalance, excess estrogen. Mm -hmm. And it's really hard because people don't want to hear this. No, they don't. They want to believe that these plants are safe, but guess what? Why is essential oil so powerful? They're medicine. That's where all the medicines come from. People think more is better, but it's not. Less is more. Yes, yes. And you know, and what we want to remind you is the skin is the largest organ. Mm -hmm. It absorbs everything. And if you're using these powerful essential oils, yeah daily, it's going to have an effect on you sure. and your children. Yeah, a lot of people use them for their children too, and I always, I'm a big advocate for the use, but yep. you have to be really minimal. You always want to blend the oil with coconut oil or something that's good for their skin. Only put it on children's feet and mm. very minimal. Yeah. It's like, a, it's, you Treat it like medicine. Yeah. Once in a while. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And that's why I love working with Trish because I send, uh, I always recommend her to my patients too. And yeah, of course. And. With the essential oils we sure. love the essential oils that's why you guys are loving them and selling them and you're so happy that yeah, you're not having great. to rely on things but remember plants are medicine mm -hmm. they're powerful and the essential oils like lavender geranium rosemary they're all on my list at estrogen-free.com use those ones sparingly mm -hmm. the ones that we're seeing that are a little bit um, um, that don't have the phytoestrogens are going to be your citrus Citrus are great. Yeah. Even clarity. Therapy, and they're working with a physician or someone who's knowledgeable. They may be able to put a blend together. That's yes, really helpful. and that's key is working with someone that really understands it. Sure. But again, ladies, be a little gentle on the phytoestrogen ones. Again, mm -hmm. on the website will be listed. And remember, skin is the it's going to absorb it. And sure. plants are medicine and powerful. Yeah, it's important. I made myself sick. When I first got oh, that's all right. my oils in, I started all new. I used doTERRA as a therapeutic grade oil. There's others as well that are really, really great. But of course, I'm like, <laughs> I want to try this. Ooh, this smells nice. Boom, boom, boom. Tried it on all my clients. And then for three days, I felt a little feverish. I was sick. My stomach was having a little discussion mm -hmm. with me off and on. Mm -hmm. So it was a lot of things, and I felt clearer and good in three, four days, but I did definitely feel sick, and so I do 
educate most of the therapists Good. that work here as well and, and let them know, hey, you have to be extremely cautious. If you're smelling it, it's probably too much. If it's more than just a light hint, like one drop for a lot of yeah. a lot of treatments can be enough. That's true. And again, yeah, you want to keep the dosage very small and you want to, uh, especially with the workers. And again, mm -hmm. I'm concerned with the people that are touching it and using it every day. Sure. If you're using this as a treatment for, you know, three days, five days, seven days, whatever the treatment is, that's different. This is for people that are working mm -hmm. and being exposed to it and reminding women, don't slather this on your children. Don't <laughs> slather this on your breasts. I have yeah. women coming in, they're like, I have, my breasts are painful. I'm like, you've been rubbing frankincense all over your breasts. Yeah, that's and a lot. It's too much, ladies. All right, we'll come check out OB Massage. Right. They have lots of different therapeutic treatments here. Mm -hmm. Watch our other video. And be gentle with yourself, ladies. Is that a good one? I think be gentle great. with yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, be nice. Yeah. Treat yourself like you treat your friend. There you go. All right, and for more information, read the book. feature um, Trisha in her store and just explain what you're doing here and then I also want to just mention that she's doing the gua sha so you know I love my gua sha and Yay. this is why Trisha really promotes a lot of self-healing yes yeah we do we have a lot of local clientele here that refer friends and family so we try really hard to encourage people to learn as well as teach us how we can better serve them um, we try to have self-help tools. We're going to be incorporating some new classes. Mike Bearden's uh, one of the therapists here. He'll be teaching a gua sha class. Nice. So I can tell him yeah. to look at your nice yeah. video. Yeah. And we try to actually have facial gua sha tools. Uh... Well, you come down and check out Trish, and she supports Breast Cancer Boot Camp. She yes, tries to be estrogen free as much as possible, sure and uh, she sells my books here. And she's always been really supportive forever. Yeah, yeah, well, and reasons. But be. she will never be a guinea pig ever again. No, <laughs> one and done. No, all right.